Welcome to Live from Size Lounge, showcasing alumni of Iowa State University and Cyclones Everywhere, making communities, Iowa, and the world a better place. Good afternoon and welcome to Live from Size Lounge. My name is Matt Van Winkle with the ISU Alumni Association. We've taken today's show on the road again today for an interview with not one, but two Iowa State alums. I'm gonna to have to tell you, this interview is gonna leave you feeling hungry. I'm standing inside Charlotte's Kitchen in Johnston, Iowa, co-founded by Michael Hanstad and Robert Doan. These friends teamed up after graduating from Iowa State and set out to create the very best chicken sandwich. After six months of testing recipes and planning, Charlotte's Kitchen hit the road as a food truck and hasn't looked back. After a year of success, the duo has opened up their first brick and mortar restaurant. And joining me is one of the co-founders here at Charlotte's Kitchen, Michael Hansed. Michael, thanks for joining me. Yes, of course. We're excited. Thanks for having us. Yeah, yeah. So, so Robert's back in the kitchen. We're going to yes. grab him here in a little bit. But tell us about how you guys met and how you guys kind of decided to come together and start this business. Sure. So uh, we both went to the same high school um, in Johnston here. Um, we never really friends um, throughout high school, just separate, separate groups. And then in college, um, we, we became friends actually um, going to football games and basketball games together with a mutual friend of ours. And, you know, I had started another business in college that I was running, and Robert was going through his culinary science major. And then about two and a half years ago, I decided I wanted to try a, a food truck. Um, I just didn't know what I wanted to serve. So I started out down at the hall, which is a big uh, beer hall in West Des Moines. And they have a little commercial kitchen. They let small companies come in. Um, test out their ideas um, to their bar patrons. And so I just started throwing stuff at the bar, seeing what would work, and then um, the Popeyes versus Chick-fil-A war started happening, right? It just blew up. Everyone was talking about chicken sandwiches. Yep. And I was looking around like, there are no food trucks that focus on chicken sandwiches. So I was like, and I bet we can make a better one. And so I started just working my butt off in the kitchen, testing and retesting um, fried chicken sandwich recipes. Um, so I'd try one, I'd have my friends and family and the chefs at the com little, com little commercial kitchen try it. And then I'd get their feedback and I'd work it again. And I thought I had the recipe, so then I started serving it to the bar patrons. I got their feedback, reworked it again. And then about four or five months after that, I finally landed what I thought was like the best chicken sandwich that I could come up with. But then I was stuck because I'm no chef and I'm like, I need someone to like make this an actual sandwich. Yeah. Like I just have the chicken and that's when I uh, called up Robert and I was able to convince him to quit exile and join me um, at Charlotte's Kitchen to help, you know, really make it something special. Um, so all credits to Robert on just coming up with some really good sandwich recipes and sauces and all that. That's all Robert. We got a food truck uh, a year and a half ago, maybe two years now, and went that whole summer just running the food truck, slinging sandwiches. And then this location here in Johnson opened up a year later. And since we're both from here, we thought it would be dumb not to try it out, especially um, with the drive through which we knew we needed for uh, the pandemic going on right now. People aren't going to come in and eat, but we knew they'd come to the drive through How did uh, you and Robert kind of use your Iowa State educations to really kind of jump in head first? Like you said, you, I mean, you're a fairly new graduate yeah. and you really got your feet wet in that food industry and uh, Robert as well. So how did you guys use your educations to kind of build this business up? Sure. So, uh, of course, I was a marketing major, so I kind of helped utilize that. And what I've learned in class and through the clubs and um, programs that Iowa State offered to figure out what a really good brand would be, you know, something that people would uh, um, come back for. And, you know, obviously they're going to come back for the food, but you still have to have an enjoyable brand. And so I really uh, kind of had that experience from college. I was in learning at Iowa State and put that into the branding. And you can talk to Robert, um, but he'll probably tell you the same thing from the culinary science side, you know, teaching them how to, you know, come up with recipes consistently. Um, and so that's what I use. You know, I was really uh, part of like the entrepreneurship stuff at Iowa State. So that kind of helped me build a solid business too for Charlotte's Kitchen. Not only from what I learned at my old business, but just talking to like the professors and um, the like Judy Isles who runs like the entrepreneurship program out there, how like best to build a business that can grow. At what point did you guys know that you had something special and that you kind of have had perfected it to really put it out there for sure. people to try? Sure. So, um, well, I, I was, when I was in the kitchen, you know, in the commercial kitchen without Robert, with my other buddy, we just couldn't find anything that was like sticking, if that makes sense. So people, stuff that people were coming back for and specifically asking for like our food. And then that's, like I said, the wars came up and I was like, I, I bet if I came up with something really good, you know, I could sell out my truck just like Popeye's is selling out at their store. And so that's kind of the idea of why we went for the chicken sandwiches. And I knew like if I just spent 
my time really working at it that I could come up with something better. But it really hit me is when we opened up the food truck. We started out blessed to do really well, but then like just a couple weeks in, we're out in the boonies in Urbandale, just like way out in Urbandale. And this family comes up and they're from Carlisle, which is like 45 minutes on the opposite side of Des Moines. And they're like, we drove all the way out here to get your chicken sandwiches, they're so good. And I turned around, I looked at Robert and Dan, and I'm like, all right boys, we got something special. Like if someone's willing to drive 45 minutes to a food truck in some random neighborhood, then we've got something people are wanting. Okay, so tell me about what makes the chicken sandwich special. What was that special? Yeah. What were the, What's the secret sauce? How did you guys figure it out? Yeah. So obviously I can't divulge, oh, sure. you know, the recipe, but right. everything's fresh. So all the chicken is fresh. We make the batter homemade in in house every week, so we keep that even fresh. We don't we don't build, an, you know, we don't make enough for a whole month. You know, we make enough just for the week, um, and then everything's freshly fried, so nothing sits. When an order pops up, we go from the brine to the batter to the wash to the batter to the fryer, um, and then I guess too we brine it for up to 12 to 24 hours. So we brine our chicken in a little mix that we come up we came up with. So that kind of all helps us differentiate a little bit, and we really focus on having the right amount of crunch and breading to chicken ratio. Yeah. We didn't want too much breading yeah. and we didn't want too much chicken. It was really a hard, hard thing to figure out. Talk about your menu as well. It's more than just chicken sandwiches, right? Yeah. You guys have a kind of an eclectic menu. Right? Yeah, we've kind of evolved, but making it like diverse, but simple at the same time. So we have like an original chicken sandwich and a barbecue, but then we also have a crab rangoon chicken sandwich and a Nashville hot and a Thai chicken sandwich. So it kind of gives you a wide variety of choices for sandwiches that hit on like the American style, Asian style, um, and so that was very important. Then we also have like unique sides. So we do like Brussels sprouts with like a honey vinaigrette glaze and cheese curds and loaded tots. Um, so we've tried it. And then all we did, we added chicken tenders here at the restaurant because we have the ability to do that. So we just made sure that it wasn't just a plain chicken sandwich. The way we differentiate is that we have like our flavors are aren't just a split the sauce, it's like everything on the sandwich is crafted to that flavor. Talking with Michael Hanstead, one of the co-founders here at Charlotte's Kitchen, an Iowa State alum as well. We're gonna to talk to his, his cohort, yes. uh, Robert, here in a bit as well, and there's another Iowa State alum, but tell us about the space we're in here now. I know you guys had started as the food truck, well, started in the hall, really, in the yeah. small space, uh, serving the bar patrons, went to the food truck, sure. and now you guys are here in your own brick and mortar. Uh, tell yes. us how this has kind of evolved. Um, we took our time, we started just as drive through as we worked on building up the inside, cleaning the inside. Um, so we spent the first month in January just cleaning the kitchen. It took a whole month just to clean the kitchen. And then once we got that done, we opened in February, just drive through, and then for a couple months there, we were just focusing on the inside here. Um, the kind of unique thing we have going um, that I came up with an idea was to have a grandma wall of fame because the name Charlotte's Kitchen is named after my grandma. And so um, to keep that going, I was like, hey guys, you know, on social media, hey guys, like send us photos of your grandma, like we want to honor your grandma at our restaurant and to give us a little story if you can about like why they're so amazing. And so we have that uh, corner over here right now of grandma photos and it continues to build as more and more people, you know, come to the drive through and they, they give us a frame of their grandma with a little note. So it's, uh, that's really a, a cool part of something we got going on here. But we, we we're still working on, you know, getting it to this full potential here, but we're taking our time. So talk about, you, you mentioned her, Charlotte's, that's your grandma, right? Yes. What has she meant to you in your kind of process of uh, starting a business and now having your own restaurant? Um, we had what we called grandma camp. So at, when we were younger, we'd all go to my grandma's house and the cousins, and we'd go and just learn how to make her homemade bread recipe or her homemade jam recipe. Um, really watching um, her in the kitchen, learning how she did things. You know, um, the thing I like to say is like grandma is like every time they make something, they do it with so much love and passion. And that's kind of like what we try to do here still at Charlotte's Kitchen. My grandma does the same thing, like that homemade bread recipe, like she's putting her full effort into making that as best as possible. Mm -hmm. um, so that, you know, she's just an awesome grandma too. I mean, from day one, she was supporting us. Um, it was at the bar, you know, telling people to go order from us. It was at the food truck, standing next to the food truck, and at, you know, just like, in, you know, encouraging people, helping them make decision, decisions. Even at the restaurant here, she came one day and she pulled weeds, you know, at the restaurant. Um, so she's just, she's amazing. I've been blessed to have her. Now I'm joined by Robert Doan. He's kind of the culinary mind behind the Charlotte's Kitchen here. Uh, tell us about uh, when you graduated from Iowa State and what your major was yeah, as well. Sure. So I graduated in May of 2018 and I graduated with a Bachelor's of Science in Culinary Food Science. It's been a year or so yeah. since you guys started just as a food truck yep. and now you guys have had so much success yeah. and now you're in your own brick and mortar. Absolutely. What's it been like to see that success and people really enjoy your product? It's crazy. We always had goals and dreams, you know, of opening our own brick and mortar but we never expected it to come this fast like 
a year is crazy. Yeah. Um, but it was just a really, it was 2020 and it was that we first started our food truck and most people were like, oh, what a terrible time to start a food truck, you know, but when you think about it, it was really a great time because all the restaurants were closed, there were a lot of restrictions and stuff like that, um, but not on mobile units and food trucks, so we could kind of be able to go wherever we wanted to and bring the food to people and, you know, people were excited to just be out and about too, so they would flock to us really, so we had a really good first year on the truck and here we are now. So, so as, a, as a culinary food science major at Iowa State, how did that really prepare you for what you're doing here at yeah, Charlotte's Kitchen today? Absolutely. Um, thinking about classes, I had classes at the tea room that helped us with like food preparation and stuff like that. Um, just a lot of good knife skills, cooking skills. Um, and McKay, I remember those days like, um, yeah, and I've always had a good background knowledge of food and whatnot, and they just really help strengthen my skills and stuff like that. So if, if somebody living in central Iowa or somebody that's coming through the area has never had your food, they love, you know, Chick-fil-A or Popeye's, say, uh, they want a really good chicken sandwich, what would you tell them about a Charlotte's chicken sandwich? It's the best chicken sandwich in Des Moines. Like, you put it up against any of those Chick-fil-A's, Popeye's. I mean, literally everybody's doing a chicken sandwich now. I, I would put my money up against any of those sandwiches. So Iowa State graduates like you and Robert are making their communities, the state of Iowa and the world a better place. When you talk about being from Johnston, being right here, not that far from where you grew up, is that kind of a cool thing to be able to give back to your community in this way? It makes you feel good, I'll be honest, you know, especially when you get to hire some of the local high schoolers and they come in and they're telling you like, you know, I had Mr. Brick and he was telling me, that's my student, he has a restaurant in Johnston now. It does. It, yeah, I, we are blessed to be where we're at and we are... Uh, we, it does make you feel good that you are able to at least contribute somewhat back to the community. Thanks so much for tuning in to Live from Size Lounge from Charlotte's Kitchen here in Johnson, Iowa. We'll see you again next time. This series is made possible by members of the Alumni Association. If you are interested in staying connected to the university and receiving all the benefits and services of being a member, visit isualum.org.